Hey guys, I figured I'd do an update. I'm going to try to make this quick. It's probably not going to be, but we'll see what happens. I wanted to do an update on mainly the bio pellets. Um, for those who have been watching my videos, I had, like I said, I had my ick outbreak. Um, I dosed the tank with cordon ick attack for about two months. And it worked, it got rid of my ick and everything. The problem I had with it was you have to shut the skimmer and everything off the whole time. And I, you know, it was just me being lazy, it's completely my fault, but I didn't keep up with water changes. And my nitrates skyrocketed. Fortunately, my tank is full of softies and LPS, so I, it did not seem to bother anything in my tank other than the two little Monty caps that I had that I want to say were about quarter sized. Um, fortunately, my friend gave them to me, so I didn't lose any money on that. But um, I did water changes. I did a five gallon water change every three days for about a month. And I got my nitrates down to about 35 ppm. Uh, they started at about 50, which is ridiculous. Like I said, fortunately, I don't have an SPS reef, so. Um, but I decided to try bio pellets. I had a bunch of credit at my LFS, and you know I figured why not? This would be a good test for it. So I started out with 200 milliliters of Ecoback pellets in a Fosban 150 reactor, um, and you know as long as I don't end up crashing my tank in the near future or something these things just are doing a phenomenal job. Um, and I... nowhere have I ever read of them kicking in this fast. I didn't seed them with anything or anything like that. I soaked them in RO water for probably like four hours before I put them in the reactor. And um, I do have the reactor running straight into my skimmer and stuff like everybody says to do. I was expecting a bit of a bl bacterial bloom because it said if you have high nutrients or your tank is really old, you pretty much have to expect it. So I was waiting for it, but I never got it. Uh, so that was nice. But I tested them after seven days. I had no reduction in nitrates or phosphates. Um, phosphates I don't really care about. I've never had an issue with them. It's just the nitrates for me, so... Uh, the skimmer and my algae scrubber were both working noticeably better, though. After week two, they had gone from 35 ppm down to 27, and all I did was a five-gallon water change in there. So, that surprised me. I tested it, like, three times because I couldn't believe it. Um, and then after, or on week three, I tested, and I was down to about 20, and that was a few days ago. So, I ended up cutting the flow down a little bit through the reactor. I'm not sure if it's because the nutrients were dropping too fast, or if it's that I just put the bio pellets in, or if it's something else, but a few of my corals have been acting kind of weird. I have, by no means, I haven't lost anything, you know, everything looks healthy, but some of them have been acting a little bit weird, so I'm just, it might just be me being paranoid, but... Um, so far I'm very impressed. I, between the pellets and my algae scrubber, I'm down to cleaning my glass once every five or six days, and it's only because, you know, I'll end up with, like, one little patch here and one little patch over here or something like that. It's never the entire thing, which is amazing. I've never, I've, <laughs> I've never, uh, had it that easy, so... Um, let me, I guess my birthday was on April 30th, so I did get myself a few things, of course. So I guess I'll kind of go over some of the corals and what's going on. Um, those are the two Montes that bleached out. They're both coming back. They're both starting to encrust on the rock and everything, so that's nice. And I also bought this, uh, I believe it's a Chrysalopora, I think? little five dollar frag the other day just to see how it would do it's been in there for about two and a half weeks i haven't really seen any growth or anything but there's also no die off and it looks healthy so that's good enough for me right now um my recordias are doing good 
my mushrooms. My nephthia is one of the corals that's been kind of pissed off. Like I said, I don't know if the nutrients were dropping too fast or what's going on, but uh, they, it still seems to be doing all right, so I'll see what happens. Uh, the Gorgonian's doing pretty good. It had one spot kind of down there, I don't know if you might be able to see it, where the tissue had died off and it was about half an inch of just a stick. And then the last few days it's pretty much regrown back over it. It's got polyps on it and stuff, so it seems like it's doing pretty good. Uh, I got this Duncan a couple months ago. It's gone from five heads to nine, I think, now. So it seems to be doing pretty well. My frog spawn, fuzzy mushrooms. Everything seems to be doing well. I picked up these green glove polyps the other day. I've been waiting for some of those for a long time. They look pretty sweet. I like them. And I also picked up this torch. I got a good deal on that one. It's just one head, but, you know, that's okay. And this is the first bubble coral I've ever tried. I got it the other day, and it seems to be doing phenomenal. And then I picked up these zoas down here. I could be wrong. I'm not, you know, great with names and stuff yet. And I'm sure it's going to be hard to pick up in the video, but I think they might be speckled fire and ice. And then those few in the middle, I think, are arctic ice. Um, if anybody knows or has any other ideas, by all means, let me know. I'm curious. Um... Here's one of my corals that's been kind of pissed off. These used to be completely covering the rock, and now they're kind of thinning out. Like I said, I don't know if it's the bio pellets or what, but I guess we'll see what happens. And the same thing with these ones. The radioactive dragon eyes. I don't know what their issue is, but they seem to be better the last few days since I uh, cut the flow through the reactor a little bit, so hopefully that's all it was. But... Yeah, rose bubbles, love and life. So, anyways, yeah, um, that's about all I can come up with, so, hope you guys liked it. Have a good one.